last one last part i have forgot to specify the material type okay uh, we can also specify the material after once the part has been created even that time also we can uh, specify that uh, for that follow the same procedure the file menu go to prepare my option and select model properties uh, under the material change it to uh, in this case i'm choosing the material for this part as the aluminium so go to the standard material and uh, select the non-ferrous one you can find the aluminium uh, types of aluminium combination in the tire we shall select the broad aluminium double click over it now the material has been uh, brought up from there click ok the material has been changed so click close now we can uh, save our part okay now we should see the third one uh, this is the third part which we are going to model this one is like a, a kind of a connecting rod okay uh, this is the front view this is the top view this is the side view by looking in this direction right okay now we shall uh, model it uh, as usual from the uh, front side front side right uh, from the front since this region this uh, uh, top region has a uh, uh, cup like structure we shall first uh, consider since this the uh, below uh, below that region is uh, looks like a rectangle it's easy to extrude so first we shall complete this one and afterwards we can model the top cup type uh, structure right first we shall draw the uh, below rectangle one uh, we can model it by any uh, from any by starting from any of the direction but for simplicity uh, as far as I, I know i i have chosen this way you can you can choose anything uh, every designer has his own uh, perspective okay we should first try it close it and open a new file i am choosing this one the, the type of the material for this uh, part also to be as uh, aluminium so initially we can uh, change it uh, under the standard and down for us same click ok ok now we have changed to the, the material uh, since the planes are not visible uh, under the data plane select all now it has come right we shall draw from the, from the rectangular part under the front view sketch it right we have created this one the dimension of the rect uh, rectangular part is uh, 500 to, uh, to be the 500 as the uh, uh, height and the, 60 to be the uh, uh, width right we shall draw that one uh, we can choose the center the uh, rectangle itself 60 to be the width and 500 to be the width right now we have uh, completed it we can extrude it how much distance the extrusion the extrude generally or oh, extrude it to 60 equally between the two pins uh, play under the placement please select the rectangle okay uh, and uh, 20 okay once we have finished up with this one click ok now uh, we have created up to this one now the circular hole is missing and that cup like structure is uh, we need to drop mm. uh, for that um, what we can do is uh, we can first construct the bottom rectangular part and afterwards we can construct the top uh, region right uh, since uh, the total uh, that the distance okay the distance between uh, these two top surfaces are found to be as uh, 70 mm -hmm. right now we shall first draw the 
top layer or uh, top rectangle we should first uh, construct mm -hmm. Uh, in order to create the second rectangle uh, select the center plane and uh, sketch over it okay it is already here now uh, introduce the reference points okay now uh, we shall uh, draw the corner rectangle over it the base of the rectangle is similar to the base of the uh, initial one but the height is found to be as 30 so enter 30 now extrude it up to now the length of the extrusion is uh, by seeing the diagram the length of the extrusion length of this rectangle is uh, found to be uh, initially uh, the hollow section is with of with the 70 and these two smaller rectangles uh, smaller cuboids are found to be with the width of 15 each so 15 plus 70 plus 15 makes it 100 so the length of the total uh, second rectangular that is the second cube bar is 100 so enter it extrude it from the middle equally with a distance of 100 okay now we have finished it right now we can create the top uh, rectangles for that select the top region and uh, sketch it switch to the sketch view introduce some reference here similarly the base of the rectangle is equal to the base of the uh, base plane right now the height only we should uh, make it as uh, discussed earlier the height of the third rectangle is found to be 15 once it is over extrude it up to the height of uh, 70 why because total distance is 100 now the second rectangle we have uh, taken the dimension to be 30 so 100 minus 30 makes 70 so the third rectangle is found to be with the uh, height of 70 right extrude it up to the 30 enter it in 70. now it is uh, clear <coughs> now the similar uh, one we uh, we need here so mirror it select the third extrude uh, with the sketch select the sketch tree and the sketch uh, sketch tree and the extrude tree uh, go to the mirror and select the central axis now it's being uh, duplicated now we have created almost 90% uh, is the only thing is we need to introduce some uh, circular holes we need uh, two holes here and uh, one more here the distance is 25 radius and here it is 12.5 uh, radius so first we shall draw this one Mm, select the central plane for it sketch move to sketch view right now uh, take the reference set top region see uh, here it is uh, showing another reference so this is the top region uh, we can take it also okay the total is radius of uh, 25 so in this case we can take a distance of uh, some 30 some random 30 and we can draw the circulated radius of uh, 25 such that it doesn't uh, hit the top layer diameter 50 now clear that uh, unwanted lines and find whether it is a closed one as it is a closed one now we can extrude it and remove the material uh, extrude equally between these two now click on the remove material see it's uh, it has been removed click ok now uh, we need to select this one this layer 
click on the sketch and go on to the sketch the distance is 12.5 that is the radius select the references since uh, being 12.5 uh, we can take the radius or we can take the initial uh, center point for the circle as some 15 or uh, by seeing the diagram you can take it as a 15 now we can draw the line 12.5 radius so 12.5 times 2 makes the diameter right remove the unwanted regions unwanted sketches extrude it and remove right click ok see the third part has been created successfully now we shall uh, move to the next one this is the fourth part we shall see how we can create it uh, save it okay now similarly this one also we can create it by uh, following the front view pattern so totally 150 and 150 300 total length and that height we can take it as a totally 32.01 and here 267 we can add it up 32.0 uh, okay 32.01 plus 267.99 makes the height to be 300 first we shall draw it and afterwards we can uh, uh, discuss okay for that uh, create the new file and uh, give it the title as uh, p4 select a minus select the front plane and sketch it total distance is 300 so split it uh, 150 top and 150 bottom in order to maintain symmetry similarly over here and similarly over here right now we have finished now we need to draw the uh, top uh, circular region for that uh, see the smaller circle uh, and the uh, larger circle are uh, almost similar indicating that the uh, dimensions are uh, uh, scaled up okay in that sense the smaller circle is with the radius of 25 then the larger circle would be with the radius of 50 right we shall now draw the larger circle with the radius of 50 for that uh, we shall first draw the, we shall first make a point where the center point of the 50 circle is this is the center point of the 50 circle now we shall draw the radius okay 50 done remove the unwanted uh, lines i don't need these lines also they just okay now it is clear now we shall connect uh, the bottom line with the circle similarly with the tangent uh, wait a second this is not a tangent right finish now we shall remove this bottom arc of the circle in order to maintain closed region finished now uh, the second part is the hollow region the hollow is 25 radius make the 25 radius circle in this case 50 diameter over click ok now the part has been now the part has been uh, created the extrude distances 75 
uh, we shall uh, extrude it e equally between the two surfaces enter center free right finished uh, we have created a fourth part for this material also we can select aluminium as the material right non-ferrous and aluminium rod high steel okay okay uh, this is how uh, fourth part can be created now we shall see the fifth one right uh, we shall see how we can draw the fifth part this is the fifth part which we are going to model this is uh, similarly a circular disc right first we can draw the circular disc and afterwards we can uh, project these two circular uh, additional circular uh, uh, cylinder like structures okay first we can uh, extrude this circular disc the dimension of the circular disc is 125 radius so first we shall draw this one and we can extrude it up to the distance of 50 right first we can uh, draw it uh, name this one as P5 choose MMNS and uh, the material can be taken as a cast iron this is a random one go to ferrous and select clay cast in click ok the name has been changed so click close uh, select the front plane as usual sketch it move on to the sketch view and draw the circle with the radius of 125 and extrude it 125 times 2 uh, 1 second 125 times 2 right we have finished uh, the extrude distance is 50 extrude it uh, with an equal one distance 50 right right uh, now we will see how we can extrude the remaining two cylinders uh, here the first one is at the center of the circular disk with the radius of 25 uh, it should be extruded up to 75 so select the surface of the disk and sketch it it is the radius of 25 isn't it uh, radius of 25 the 75 so radius of 25 makes it diameter of 50 now extrude it up to 75 right now uh, the third one the third one is uh, opposite side of the uh, present cylinder so uh, go to the opposite side that two um, with the radius of 12.5 makes it 25 and x to up to 98 okay first we shall select the side select opposite side sketch it uh, make a reference being uh, 25 mm uh, 25 units in this case 25 units uh, uh, diameter uh, we can take it as 31 uh, we can take uh, some roughly 15 uh, make it circle with a radius of 12.5 in the sense 12.5 times 2 25 isn't it 12.5 uh, with the extrude length of 98 clean up the surface up to 98 we extrude it right this is how the part 5 should be modeled save it now we shall see the part uh, 6
this is the part six similar to the part three right mm, this one uh, is also very similar first we shall uh, model the uh, below rectangle since it is very easy to model 60 and uh, 700 first we shall draw it open a new file and give it the title as a part uh, six Uh, give the material as casting uh, or in the case give this aluminum peak connecting your right uh, front plane sketch it and want to the sketch view 700 height and uh, 60 with uh, make it as a center one seven hundred and uh, sixty right uh, with the extrude length of twenty right uh, in this case I have mentioned twenty but the previous one I forgot okay you just make a note on it center extrude Right, uh, we are finished. Now uh, we shall move on to next one. Mm. Uh, similarly, uh, we can model this one. Uh, this one with a height of uh, uh, 130, it seems. Uh, similarly, we can uh, make some uh, modifications. Uh, we shall first draw this one uh, top uh, uh, rectangle. Afterwards, uh, we can uh, move on to the other side, right? Now we shall draw the top rectangle. Uh, for that, is uh, we shall select the center plane of the rectangle sketch over it the length is found to be uh, uh, similar to the length of the present one but the uh, height is found to be uh, 30 so first uh, make some references and draw uh, select the corner rectangle and select the height to be 30 extrude it uh, with uh, uh, 100 I hope you are following it with the time chain data. Okay, now we shall draw the top uh, rectangle. Select the top plane, sketch it, move over here, and uh, make some reference. Similarly, the base seven same. The height is for select the corner rectangle, and the height is fifteen and extrude length to be as uh, 100 okay since you can find it over here the height of the rectangle is 15 and the extrude total extrude is 130 we have given 30 for the second rectangle so remaining 100 we need to give for the top one right uh, extrude it up to 100 you can uh, give it you can mirror it to the next one well, it has been selected so press the mirror and select the center plane right see finished now uh, one part which is remaining uh, we need to make the holes uh, here the top one is 25 radius first we shall draw that one select the center plane and sketch it Twenty five being twenty five radius, we can take the distance to be some thirty, right? Then draw the twenty five radius circle. Twenty five radius makes it fifteen, so, and then uh, remove the unwanted lines and make it as a closed one. Now extrude and remove materials. that's a bank right now we can introduce the same 
for the bottom one select the bottom surface sketch over it make some common reference and uh, make a note of the dimension dimension is 12.5 similar 25 diameter so for 25 diameter usually you take some 15 distance make some 25 m or 25 units stamped remove the unwanted oh, sorry remove the unwanted uh, zoom in and remove okay now okay now we have uh, created the uh, a circular sketch uh, now we shall extrude it to the distance of 150 so click on the extrude uh, rem deselect the remove material and from the middle uh, 150 right okay uh, the remaining three parts we will discuss in the next video right uh, practice it with the uh, dimension data sheet available we shall see in the next word, next lecture how we can model the remaining three parts right happy learning